Good morning, everybody, and welcome to another Vintage Day. Bear and I decided we would go out for a breakfast picnic today, and we are at the Bonneville Fish Hatchery. And I hope you can hear us because it's kind of next to a pretty busy road. I'm glad you're here to join us. So we're going to enjoy a croissant and some coffee, some fresh local cherries, and just have a beautiful morning. And tell you a little bit about the Bonneville fish hatchery. <laughs> I guess he needs his coffee to get going. Old fish. Very old fish. They have a sturgeon pond here and I don't know how old that fish is but he's gigantic. Yeah as big as I am so it's big. <laughs> <laughs> bigger. I think it's bigger. <laughs> This is where they hatch the fish so you get to see a lot of little baby fish and then there's the rainbow trout pond that you can go in and feed the fish which is always a real blast. So if you come here make sure you bring some quarters so you can buy some fish food for these little buggers. Mm -hmm. Not so not so little. Okay they're not so little. Yeah, that's just true. But there is just, it's so well kept. I think it was originally built in 1909, and then they've continued to upgrade it and add buildings to it. Well, yeah, because they built a dam next to it. So in the 1930s, they have to rebuild the whole hatchery here. This oh, is what the version we have in the 1930s. In the 1930s. That's what happens when you build a big dam next to it. that you come here for a visit and just come out and stroll the grounds. Come early because it does get busy. It's a very family oriented place and in the spawning season you can also see how they um, gather the fish eggs and, and make all that happen. What do you call that? I'm not quite sure. <laughs> yeah. They make hatching hatch. They make hatching hatch. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> And when you, they are not in that season, they do have a video there for you to see how they do the, that type of thing. And the, this is your, what, tax dollars at work here? Yeah, they hatch like millions of eggs. 
millions. Mm -hmm. It's a very popular fishing area here in the Columbia Gorge. Mm -hmm. But fishing aside, all fascinating as that is, it's just really beautiful grounds and well worth it to come here. Um, I bet earlier in the spring it has a lot of spring flowers going. The lavenders are peaking right now. So. There's no True. parking fees or anything. True. Nice available parking lot, no charge. Gift shops. Gift shop, place you can get a little nibble if you like, but plenty of picnic tables if you don't want to pack your own. Um, so, <laughs> we like to be comfortable <laughs> and travel travel in the fine old ways and have a real classic picnic. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. Come along on our next tour, or who knows, we might be doing a recipe, but right here on another vintage day. Make sure you hit that thumbs up and subscribe to us because it really does make a difference. And if you'd like more things, we've just put out a brand new magazine. And we're also doing a podcast, which is a lot of fun. So you can find us over on Patreon, and that's patreon, P-A-T-R-E-O-N dot com forward slash another vintage day. And it's keeping us busy, isn't it? Yes. Well, me more so than him. <laughs> you go out there and have another great vintage day. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.